This is the real Tom Rose, and we've been given a problem with lots of variables, B boxes, W watches, X dollars, and we've been asked to solve for the cost per watch. Notice that the answer choices have lots of variables. So you should consider plugging in numbers and or algebra to solve this problem. I always like to start with plugging in numbers because there's a chance it will be much faster. So we've been given B boxes, W watches, and X dollars. X really equals cost. And to differentiate, so we've been asked for cost per watch. This is actually cost per crate or cost per box. So let's plug in here. And I'm going to plug in small primes. So I like to do 2, 3, and 5, for example. And so let's figure out the cost per watch by doing total cost over total watches. Total cost is 5. Total watches is 6. Two boxes, three watches per box. So we end up with 5 sixths as our total cost. Well, now we simply need to plug in 2, 3, and 5 to the answer choice and figure out which one equals 5 sixths. So let's do that. If we do 2 times 3 times 5, that's not going to be 5 sixths. This is going to be, will be 5 over 2 times 3. That equals 5 sixths. That's a potential winner right there. Uh, let's keep going to make sure we're not wrong. B is 2 times 3 over 5. I don't even know what C is. That hasn't been defined. W is 3 times X is 5 over B is 2. So that's 15 over 2 is like 7.5. That's out. And we'll do 3 over 2 times 5. Five. That's 3 tenths, so that's out. And the answer choice that's correct is B. Now, if while you were solving this, you, ended, you figured out that the total cost was 5, which simply is X, and the denominator we did total watches, which ended up being 6 because it was the number of boxes times the number of watches per box, you could have bailed to algebra and gone straight for answer B.